Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today we will be taking few important sums from the chapter indices which is very very important from examination point of view. Surely there will be question on this. So let's go ahead. First sum I have written on the board. We need to find out the value of this. See whenever they will give you this something like this. Your job is to reduce it to the small numbers. What I mean 27 is cube of 3. So I can write 27 as cube of 3. And 1 upon 3 is outside. Like that 36 is 6 square. 1 upon 2 is outside. So 81 I can write as 3 raised to 4. And 1 upon 4 is outside. Upon 5 square is 25. And 20 square is 400. So I have just written this big big numbers as base as a small number. Okay. Value I have not changed. Now as per the rule of indices this will be multiplied. So 3 into 1 upon 3 into 6 2 into 1 upon 2. All rules of indices please go through properly. They are very simple into 1 upon 2 into 20 raised to 2 into 1 upon 2. Now brackets we have removed right. Now this 3 will go with this, 2 with this, 4 with this, 2 with this and this 2 with this. So what will remain? 3 raised to 1, 6 raised to 1, 3 raised to 1, 5 raised to 1 and 20 raised to 1. So this raised to 1 I need not write now. Right? I can straight away rewrite this as normal numbers. Once we get this, the job is very very easy. Whenever students they see this kind of division, they start reducing it. See, you have to keep an eye on the options given to you. Here options are given in decimal. Means you need to have number 10 or 100 in the denominator. Then your work will be very very easy. I have 5 into 20 as 100. So why should I disturb this by doing division with this 6? No need. Keep it like that. So this 100 I am keeping it like that. 3 into 6 18. 18 into 3 is 54. 54 upon 100 is 0 0.54. This is the answer. So easy. I will tell you. Indices is my favorite chapter. Since my childhood, when I was a student, I really like this. Once you know the formulae, you have everything in your hand. You have to just use those formulae. Right? Chalo. See students, I have written here one sum. We need to find out the value. In this sum, you are expected to know the rules of indices as well as identities you will know why i am saying that okay as we go ahead with the solution okay now our main job is to remove this brackets big big brackets minus 5 raised to m minus n this will be multiplied with this as per the rule of indices m plus n into Again minus 5, n minus 1 hai, uske saath ye multiply ho ka, bar wala. Into again minus 5, 1 minus m and 1 plus m. Looking at this, immediately you should know the identities. a square minus b square is equal to a plus b, a minus b. If you know this, Immediately you will come to know n minus n, n plus n means this is nothing but n square minus n square. Similarly here minus 5. n minus 1, n plus 1 means n square minus 1 square means 1 only. But I am writing it square. Okay. Again minus 5. 1 minus n, 1 plus n. That is 1 square minus m square. 
Okay, now base is minus 5, minus 5, minus 5. So, and multiplication. So, we have to add this, another rule of indices. Minus 5 be common, everything on top will be added. Now, if you observe, here it is m square, this is minus m square. And minus n square plus n square. Minus 1 square plus 1 square. So everything has gone. So answer is 0? No. This is minus 5 raised to 0. Anything raised to 0. Again another rule of indices. What is that? A raised to 0 is 1. Right? A raised to 1 is A. All this you should know. So minus 5 raised to 0 is? 1. Any number raised to 0 is 1. So, answer here is 1. Very, very interesting. If you know the formulae, see sometimes they combine two chapters. Okay. Here how they have done indices and identities. Simple formula. But if you don't know this, you will get stuck. So, where whatever, whichever formula are there, please see them. Okay, chalo. Aage padte hai. See students, I have written the next sum here. All are base 8. So, no problem. Only thing is we have to apply the rules of indices. All are into. So, we need to add the index of each number. So, we are adding. This was minus, so I have written minus here and plus 2 upon 3, okay. Similarly down here, 8 means 8 raised to 1, okay. When number is there, it is raised to 1, right. So 8, 1 minus 2 upon 5. Now here observe, directly students find out the LCM, no need. 1 upon 3, 2 upon 3, first add that, that is 3 upon 3, so 1. So ye dono ka total ho gaya, 1. So, we can rewrite this 1 and then minus 3 upon 5. Similarly, down 8, 1 minus 2 upon 5. Now, we will solve this. 1 means 5 upon 5, minus 3 upon 5. Similarly, here 8, 5 upon 5, minus 2 upon 5. So, it is 8. 5 minus 3, 2 upon 5. Here it is 8. 5 minus 2, 3 upon 5. Now I need to take this denominator wala number upper. So again rule of indices. 8, 2 upon 5. Then this will be minus. Minus 3 upon 5. So answer will be 8 minus 1 upon 5. Here since the base was same, I have just taken the index on top with minus because this was plus. If this would have been minus, that would have become plus. But this was plus, so it has become minus because we have shifted from denominator to numerator as per the rule of index, indices. So answer is 8 raised to minus 1 upon 5. Very, very easy. Apna job kya hai? Pure formulae padho, understand karo and at the time of examination use karo. Okay, there is nothing special in that. Ready made formulae are available. Just make use of them. Chalo aage padte. As you all are aware, there will be 20% sums, anything in IT or maths or even in languages where one, two correct options will be there. If you mark only one, then two marks gone, even though that is correct. They will indicate that in the question, he choose any two correct options. So this sum is like that. Here you will get two correct options. Okay, chalo start karte hai. Observe this, base is same. So no problem. As per the rule of indices, let's go ahead. I am writing common 1 upon 2, x plus 3. No, first one more step I will take because there is division here. I want to convert this into multiplication. What will be the impact on the number? 
only index. Index will be opposite sign. 1 upon 2. Here it was plus x minus 3. So now it will be minus x minus 3. The sign will change and it will be into here. As simple as that. Chalo, aage hai. Again, I will solve this. Here I am writing each and every step. But at the time of examination, you don't have that much time. Here we are trying to learn. So I am not skipping any step. Minus x plus 3. Please be careful here. Students forget to write plus here. They write minus 3 only. No. Because of this minus, whatever is inside will have the opposite sign. Minus 3. Okay. Now we will do common 1 upon 2. As per the rule of indices, we need to add everything. I am not writing this bracket. x plus 3 minus 3. Okay. Let's go ahead. Plus x minus x plus 3 minus 3. Only this plus 3 is remaining. So your answer is raised to 3. They will give one more option that is 1 upon 8. So you have to choose this and this. If you choose any one, even though it is correct, two marks gone. You need to be alert at every point of time. Students, we will stop here today. Indices is a very, very interesting and very, very easy. Straightforward questions will be asked. So, no tension. You have to just by heart, I would say, understand the formulae. So that it will be easy for you to memorize. Okay? And use them. Ready-made platter is there. You have to just use them at the time of examination and arrive at the answer. Okay? I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, study well. And very important thing is, correct bachelor, enjoy studying. Bye.